So I just picked up my newest Power Pro battery. So the total pallet weight is like 350. Um, I do not have an easy way to lift this thing. Uh, no forklift uh, or anything that I would be able to, you know, pick this thing up. And you'd need about four people, you know, to, to keep it balanced and not drop it on anybody. So here's kind of my setup, and we'll see how this works. Uh, I have two cargo straps around, you know, trying to trying to stay at either end of the weight. And to keep this from collapsing in on itself while I pick it up, I've ran another cargo strap around these, around these straps and underneath to both sides and tighten it down. So hopefully these won't try to slide in. I'm using this again. Uh, I'm using this thing so that it'll put even pressure on the two of them. And if I need to, I can slide one in a little bit to, to get it centered on the weight. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where the center of gravity is going to end up being. So that's kind of the setup on the box uh, to pick it up. And what I'm using, I have a pretty heavy duty beam in here, doubled up, and I have just a chain hoist. So I'll back the truck up to the chain hoist and hook it up and lift it up and try to get it centered in the, the center of weight. And all I need to do really is pick it up high enough that I can drive the truck out from under it and then set it on the ground. Once it's on the floor, I can uh, disassemble the box and get the battery out. And then I'm just gonna use, uh, I got a hand truck over here. I'll just use that hand truck to uh, pick it up and carry it to where I need to need to put the battery. So that's the plan. We'll see how this goes. Okay, that worked. Um, there's something different in this battery than the last one I got, and that's they have listened to people, I guess, and they installed. A lifting device so there's a cable and it laces through these brackets on the top and on the bottom so that you have a mechanism for lifting it had I known that I would have opened the box and just used the lifting straps that they provided to, to pick this thing up. So all of that contraption I came up with to pick it up and set it on the ground, I could have uh, opened the box, used the lifting straps that they supplied, and picked it up and set it on the ground that way. So just a note, that's an improvement. A great improvement. <laughs> so like I say, uh, the, the, the first one I received did not have those brackets and did not have a way to lift it. So lifting the box and setting it on the floor, opening the box and then standing it up like I've done here was about your only option. So just a FYI, if you're ordering a new battery, they actually have a way to lift it up now. So... Uh, it comes with it comes with the mounting hardware. It comes with the, the cable, communication cable. It comes with two positive, two negative, and these don't have terminals on the other end. They're designed to connect into the 18k PV. Are quite possibly you know one of the other inverters if you're buying a different inverter so it comes with those cables uh, 
I purchased paralleling cables as part of this uh, buy. So that comes with another top cable and then a positive and a negative uh, to connect the, the new battery to the old battery. So, uh, what that's going to allow me to do, I should be able to take those crimp lugs on them, go from my original battery over into the new uh, cable box and land, land those two cables, well, it would be four, two positive and two negative. I should be able to land them onto a uh, bus bar. And then I would be able to go uh, from this battery using those. And if I do this right, if I, if I take this cable, cut it in the middle so that they're equal length, put terminals on it, so I can run basically uh, two negatives, two positives up to the bus bar from the battery. And I'll have two cables going from, uh, I'll use these two, and there'll be two cables going from the bus bar into uh, the old battery. That works for me because I'm not planning on adding any additional batteries. Uh, if you're if you're going to three batteries, there wouldn't be enough terminals on the on the main you know your your main battery in order to connect them all together like that. But this should work, and that's going to give me very low resistance, so it should be no issues with uh, current draw max current draw. So that's going to be the plan. Uh, glad it came this way and I am glad they installed these handles. That is phenomenal. So big improvement uh, EG4 and Signature Solar. So thanks for listening to the people. Try to get this thing connected up at least temporarily until I can get the bus bars and you know all of the bits and pieces and the terminal lugs that I would need to connect it the way I just uh, mentioned. So right now I'm going to connect it so that I'm just going to use uh, the paralleling kit that I bought and then we'll go from there. So more to follow. Okay, so this is kind of where it's going to set temporarily. Uh, once, I, once I can do the bus bars and move the battery over I'll move it out uh, out from under the power distribution panel but just a real quick some some things that they have changed besides the handles bonus uh, for lifting it up uh, so this little cover plate now is attached so it doesn't get lost if you unscrew it uh, it still ships in a default all of the dip switches are down so you'll have to set it up to either your main battery or uh, a slave battery. So you'll have to do that procedure in the manual. Uh, it, it, it shipped 55% uh, charged. The BMS version is uh, a 13. And the original battery I have, it's a 1. So in order for these two to work together, I'm going to have to upgrade my uh, first battery here to the same software version. And I don't have the cable. That was the one thing that was holding up this whole shipment. And I asked them to go ahead and get it shipped uh, with, without the, the cable for programming. So I will need that in order to uh, update the software for the BMS in the first battery so that uh, they're on the same software version. But right now my plan is uh, probably tomorrow 
I'll connect it up as the main battery and I'll let it run for a while and make sure there's no issues with it uh, before I before I parallel them. You know, that way I know battery works like it's supposed to and once I parallel them if there's any issues then I know it's it's not the battery itself it's something else. So that'll be the plan tomorrow is to get it cooked connect it up and I'll use it as the main battery for a little while. Uh, but that's oh what was the other thing? These uh, side panels there's four screws that hold uh, these side panels on. So that's the size of the screw now that holds it in. The one, the first one I, I got, that's the size of the screw. So I guess there was problems with that. So they upgraded the hardware. It's a lot uh, heavier duty hardware. So so far that's the changes I've seen other than the software version being a 13 instead of a 1 so I don't know how much of a difference I'll see uh, with uh, the BMS upgrade but uh, so that's, that's where I'm at uh, like I say that's where it's going to set temporary until I can uh, till I can get the bus bars and everything set up so that I can move it out from under that panel and over closer to the water heater and get it out of the way uh, so I will uh, do an updated video uh, once I have it set up and programmed and see how it goes with the operation if you have questions I think I've said this three times now these videos are going to be crunched together but if you have a comment, uh, leave it down below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.